Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to a bright, shiny. Yeah, we'll take it. Wednesday morning. Today, we've well, most of the week, we've kind of been talking about planning. Today, I want to talk to you about something that uh, very few business owners, entrepreneurs consider when they're making their business plans. Should I can include personal goals with my business goals or should I keep them separate? That's what we're talking about. Stick around. We'll be back right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. My name is Tom, and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. It's chilly outside this morning. Got the hoodie and the heater going, so it'll be a good morning this morning. Hey, when you get here, do what Joe has done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, whatever sounds good to you. Just let me know that you're here. I appreciate it, and uh, yeah. That's why I want you to do that. All right. So, oh, and Catherine. Catherine, good morning to you as well. All right. So here we go. I was working on, um, been working on a business plan program. And as I was working through that, uh, I kind of came upon this quote <laughs> from Mae West, of all people. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. And and it got me thinking about as we're building out these plans, we put a lot of emphasis on the customer and the product and the process and marketing and finance. But we don't really talk about what the business is supposed to do for me, the owner. What are my goals? And more importantly, what are my values? And is the business a, a good reflection of my values or does that just happen accidentally? So we've got this thing, and, and you've heard me talk about it before, it's work-life balance, which I think is a complete and utter fallacy. There's, it just doesn't work that way. It, 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 look, I'll just prove it to you and then I'll move on. won't have to spend any more time on that. If you've ever been at work and thought about something at home or been at home and thought about something at work, there, there's your proof. There is no separation between work and life. There's just life, and work is a huge part of it maybe, but there's just life. So to assume that I can balance the two means that I can separate the two. And your mind doesn't separate the two. So why are you arrogant enough to believe that you can when you're doing your planning? Right? So we, I think we're much better off. And this is one of the first questions when I sit down with a new coaching client, it's one of the first questions I ask, what do you want the business to do for you? And I get these deer in the headlight looks back at me, right? If they stand behind you, protect them. Okay. I don't understand that. You get this deer in the headlight look where it's like, oh, I had never thought about that. What, what do you mean? What's the business supposed to do for me? Well, what is it supposed to do? How does it play a part in your life? How does it manifest your values? How does it develop you as a human being. What are you going to do to be better off five years from now where this business wins or, or loses? And those are just questions that we don't think about. We don't understand. Right. And so, so I want to, to, I want you to start thinking about this as you are, it's early in the year. Maybe you've started doing some of this planning or, Maybe you think your business planning for 2020 is complete. Well, it's not because you're going to have to go back in there and add this in. I can guarantee you didn't include this. What are, what are your personal goals? And, and look, I'll just give you a couple to think about, right? This is not all inclusive, just a couple. What are your goals for your health? What are your goals for your family? What are your goals for personal development. 
if you don't include those three or whatever they are for you, I mean, those are just three out of the seven that I teach. But if you don't include those and you're not intentional about writing them into your plan, then they're just going to happen by accident if they happen at all. And what's more likely is you get about a third or two thirds of the way through the year and you're not feeling great. You go to the doctor and you say, oh, you got this, you got that, you got to do this to recover. You got to, or worse, you know, find yourself in the hospital. How's that helping the business? Right? So, so you, especially as the leader, the owner, the, the entrepreneur, you have to, I mean, you, you have to take care of these things. If you, if you're at home and you have a, a fight in the morning with your significant other on the way to a, an, an important meeting with a prospect, how do you think that meeting's going to go? The reality is you're going to sit there and, and you'll give it the minimum amount of attention necessary because you're going to be there stewing about the argument that you just had. Wouldn't it be better if you could give it your full attention? That might not prevent arguments, but it, at least you're being intentional about what you're doing. So as you're putting plans together for this year, I know you're still working on them. As you're putting plans together for this year, be sure to include at least at a minimum your health, your family, and personal development. If you'd like to know what the other four are that I teach, send me a message right here on Facebook. Leave a comment on YouTube or just email me, tom at tomrigsby.com. I'll be happy to talk to you about them and help talk you through. I won't help talk you. I will talk you through the process of thinking out plans and goals for not just those, but for all of your business outcomes. Yeah. Catherine said, I like that. The way you said that Catherine work-life balance is not separate, but marked by intentional investment. Yep. Aspiration, stewardship, transformation, fellowship, work stuff, health and relationships. That's a good list. That's not my seven, but that is a good list. I like that list. I think Joe says goals are significant indicators of your ideology's journey. Wow, I like that. Alignment and timing also contributing factors that need to be planned. I agree with that. Alignment and timing. Those are good. And if you um, if you happen to catch my smart goals video on YouTube, if you didn't see that, head over to YouTube. Uh, just search for me, Tom Rigsby. I'm the only one there. Or you can just do YouTube slash Tom Rigsby. Uh, I did a video Monday uh, about smart goals. We talk about alignment uh, and timing. So that's that's good timing for that comment. And this is a good time for me to go ahead and wrap up the show. Thanks so much for being here today. Listen, if there's ever anything I can do to help you talk through your goals, your objectives, your business plan, there'll be more on that coming here shortly. You know how to do it. Leave me a message on Facebook. Leave me a comment on YouTube or email me, Tom at tomrigsby.com. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of the show. Until then, you guys have a great Wednesday. Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. And I'll talk to you then.